katiba ya Kenya article 43 inasema inalazimu serikali ku provide housing that is decent to citizens inalazimu serikali ku provide the highest standards of healthcare inalazimu serikali kupanga ajira ya vijana wa Kenya katiba ya Kenya hawa wa Kenya mamilioni walienda kwa debe wakapigia kura manifesto ambayo iko na program ya housing iko na program ya universal health coverage iko na program ya ajira ya vijana bunge wakaenda wakapitisha budget iko na mpango ya housing iko na mpango ya universal health coverage iko na mpango ya kupanga ajira ya vijana ati alafu watu wachache ambao ni beneficiaries ya ukora wanaenda kotini wanaenda kutaka kusimamisha hiyo kazi yote ati vijana wetu waendelee kuranda randa wasipate ajira ati wa Kenya tusiwapunguzie hawa wenye mapato ya chini kutoka 500 mpaka 300 waendelee kulipa 500 na wao waendelee kuiba hiyo pesa ati wa Kenya waendelee kuishi kwa slums ati wa Kenya wasipate nyumba na hawa hawa ambao wako kotini ni watu wako na medical insurance inalipwa na wa Kenya wako na magari inalipwa na wa Kenya wako na housing inalipwa na wa Kenya je huo ni ungwana hapana hiyo hapana our judiciary we respect you but judicial impunity by corrupt judicial officers must stop in Kenya we will stop it and whatever it takes kwa sababu sasa hawa wananchi wanataka kujiuliza ile barabara ya ihithe mnataka tujenge ama mnataka tungoje mpaka judiciary watuambie tujenge judiciary wanasema tusijenge mnataka tujenge nijenge hiyo barabara ama tungoje hawa watu tujenge barabara bwana mbogwa wewe bwana pies weka pesa ya hiyo barabara tuanze kujenga the judiciary must submit itself to the constitution and to the people of Kenya. Ama na magani. Mimi rais na hawa wabunge wote ambao tumechaguliwa sisi we submit to the people of Kenya we go to elections we are uh, tuna, tunafanyiwa tunapigiwa msasa yule ambaye amekosa anafukuzwa yule mwingine anapatiwa kazi. Si kweli? Sisi wote tuna tunakubaliana. So I want to tell all of us those of us who are leaders in the judiciary those of us who are leaders in the executive those of us who are leaders in the legislature we are all subject to the constitution and the people of Kenya are sovereign Tumekubaliana Mimi nataka niwaulize watu wa Nyandarwa hii program ya housing ambayo itapatia vijana hapa Nyandarwa kazi 1500 niendelee naye ama ningojee hawa watu watupatie ruhusa Tuendelee. Yeah. Ile program ambayo tumepitisha iko kwa katiba ya Kenya. Katiba inasema kila mkenya. Na katiba ndio supreme. Haikuandikwa na rais. Katiba iliandikwa na wakenya. Si ni kweli? Katiba inasema every Kenyan is entitled to the highest standards of healthcare. Number one. Number two. Hawa wa Kenya walienda kwa piga kura katika ile manifesto kulikuwa na mambo ya universal health coverage ya tatu bunge wameenda wakapitisha sheria ine ya kuhakikisha kwamba mambo ya universal health coverage inasonga mbele na wananchi wale wako chini tunapunguza gharama yao kutoka 500 mpaka 300 na tunahakikisha ya kwamba hakuna mkenya tena ataenda kuuza mali yake ili aende kulipa hospitali hata kama ni ugonjwa wa saratani hata kama ni ugonjwa wa diabetes hata kama ni ugonjwa wa hypertension sasa kwa mara ya kwanza kila mkenya ataenda ataenda hospitali atibiwe na aende nyumbani bila ya kulipishwa pesa alafu hiyo program yote kuna watu wakora wachache wameenda kotini 
wakakutana na wengine wa kora huko kotini ati wasimamishe waendelee kuiba pesa ya mambo ya afya hiyo mnataka tungojee hiyo maneno tuendelee na hii program ya universal health coverage tupunguze ile nini tuendelee nayo bas za maneno ndio hiyo badala ya kusumbua wananchi na kulete fujo na kulete vita ambieni hao wananchi mpango yenu tofauti na yetu ni gani yes what is the alternative nyinyi sisi tumesema tunataka tulipe ushuru tuokoe Kenya kwa madeni nyinyi mtuambie yenu ni gani msituambie ati mnapanga ati vita ati maandamano ati kwenda kupiga eh, kuharibu mali ya watu ati kwenda kuumiza wananchi ati kwenda kumwaga damu kumwaga damu kuharibu biashara ya wananchi itaweza kusaidia Kenya kwa njia gani iko njia itasaidia Kenya so tuache kutishana tuache vitisho tu, tu, tuache mambo ya let us give us your viable alternative views if you have any lakini hii upinzani ni upinzani imeishiwa haina mpango yoyote ati ile mpango wako naye ni ya vita na maandamano look at them walibeba sufuria hapa wakati sisi tulikuwa shambani si ndio so, walikuwa wanabeba masufuria kwa kichwa hii hii bei ya unga imekuja chini imekuja kwa sababu watu walipaa sufuria si kwa sababu wakulima walienda shambani na wakapata mbolea na mimi nataka niwatangazie mbolea ya mwaka huu tayari tuko na magunia elfu mbili ile magunia karibu milioni mbili inakuja mwisho wa hii mwezi mkuwe tayari turudi shambani tulime tuzalishe chakula tuondoe aibu ya njaa that is how we are going to sort out the cost of living that is how we are going to sort out hunger in the republic of kenya tumeelewana jameni mwaka mmoja uliopita tumepanga mambo mengi kwa sababu ilikuwa inatupasa tufanye hivyo I want to thank the people of Kenya the people of Nyandarwa for giving us time to plan properly for our country so that we don't make mistakes that we made before tusifanye makosa ambayo yalifanyika pale mbeleni na nawashukuru sana sasa nataka niwaambie kwamba mwaka huu wa 2024 ni ile mwaka. Hii 2024 ni ile mwaka. Na mimi nataka tena niwashukuru kwamba katika kupanga haya mambo yote tumeelekeza mawazo yetu na mipango yetu sio kwa mambo ya leo na kesho ni mambo ya usoni na vile Kenya itanawiri tukiwa pamoja